wonder if there's anyone in the world that hasn't at some time worn a costume or gone to a fancy dress party and so can relate to this exhibition. Beatrice Jordan, who, whose work for me is the underpinning of this exhibition. And, and um, as Sue said, I saw it in my work here in ages ago and just was astounded by the beautiful photographs of dance and her scrapbooks. If you haven't seen it already, what a fabulous exhibition you're about to see. Over 130 years of fun and delight, of community, of performance troops, um, parades, uh, circuses, um, representing children, adolescents and adults of all ages. I think it's an exhibition that everyone can relate to and hopefully will bring back lots of wonderful memories for people of when fancy dress and costumes have been part of your life. It's been hundreds of hours of volunteer work. You do volunteer work when you are passionate about something and you love it, and it gives you back as much as you give out. So I'm really grateful to everybody here in the library giving me the opportunity to bring Beatty and all of her costume friends back into the light. Costumes are all around us. One of the immediate things for me that comes to mind is religions when the, the priests wear those magnificent costumes, the robes, the hats. They're costuming of a sort, but what awaits in here is another wondrous world. From the bizarre to the magnificent, wacky, weird, wild. When I was thinking about what was the most bizarre thing, it was very hard to go past Beatty and Beatty Jordan's bottle balancing act. It was like, you see this photo of her, so she's on the tips of her toes, and I don't think she's got real point shoes on, like just the shape of them, but she's on the tips of her toes. She's walking on the tops of these bottles that have got a neck like that, up steps. And even though the bottles are made of wood, she's still got this tiny area to step up. And as someone who's danced on point and has the lovely arthritic feet to show for it, I don't know how she did it. So when, when you go in here, you'll see the bottle walking act that um, Lucinda was talking about. But the other one that I absolutely love is Beatrice doing a somersault in the air at Sandy Bay or Kingston Beach. We're not quite sure where it is. She's taken her troop of young women down to that beach. She's had a Mercury photographer. She knew a lot about publicity. <laughs> We looked at then this fabulous, fabulous rich collection that Tasmania owns through the State Library Collection and Tasmanian Archives. It would have been pure dance if it had been left to me. I'm so pleased that we've gone beyond that because then we could embrace cosplay. So many of these aspects are represented in the exhibition and um, Penny and Caitlin and the team have put together a, a fantastic fun. I think it's so much fun and the way it's set up in there. Um, so I'd like to wrap up and officially launch the exhibition with some words by Danielle Wood, who said, we can be ourselves any day of the week. Now and then, it's fun to be someone else.